I'm Chef Joshua Riazzi of Kids Can Cook, and we're going to make a simple summer squash and zucchini gratin. For this recipe, we're going to toast some breadcrumbs to make a little bit of a, a dried or toasted crouton. In a pan, just a very small amount of oil. We're going to add some chopped bread. This is actually fresh bread. You could use day-old bread. Or to simplify it even more, you could just use a simple breadcrumb. As this toasts in the pan really lightly, we're going to take some zucchini and summer squash, clip the ends off, put this here in our bowl. We're going to cut it lengthwise. The reason we're doing this is so that we can scoop the seeds out. And if you take a look right here in the middle, you'll see all of those seeds. We're just going to use a spoon to remove. You can eat the seeds. They're fine. They don't really alter the taste very much. But this is going to make a nice little corral for all of our toppings and ingredients to go right in. So once we have our zucchini cut, we're going to set that into a roasting dish. Same thing with this piece. We want to give our breadcrumbs a little toast here, a little, little mix. And you're noticing that they're toasting a little, so they're literally browning in the pan very, very lightly. This is helping to dry them out a touch. It's also giving them a little additional flavor. We have a patty pan squash here, which is really nice for this recipe because it does tend to have a good amount of seeds in the middle but the flavor of the flesh of this is actually very, very nice. We're going to cut it right across the middle. And this gives us two halves to do this dish in. So another presentation. And as you see me scoop this out here, you'll notice what I mean. The seeds on this type of squash are very, very large. And they do affect the flavor a little bit more than on our zucchini. So we have two little bowls or receptacles for our gratin mix, which is another good reason to use this patty pan. The next ingredient, a little bit of chopped garlic. We can turn our croutons off, give them one final stir, and just let them finish in the pan there. I'm going to chop a little bit of garlic. Now, it's important, even though we're adding some ingredients here to the breadcrumb topping for this gratin, it's very important that we season the summer squash and the zucchini. And the way that we're going to do that is with just a little bit of garlic. We're going to add some herbs. We're also going to do a little bit of lemon juice, salt, oil and also our ingredient of curry powder. You could use any type of curry that you enjoy if you like a yellow curry or red curry. Really whichever you enjoy best is the one to use. So first thing here would be to just drizzle a little bit of oil onto our zucchini or summer squash. Add some of the chopped garlic. We're going to take a little bit of a lemon, squeeze that on top. And you can dust with the curry. And this curry is very flavorful, so you don't need to use a lot of it. Really just a nice light dusting. We'll permeate that and give it a very nice flavor. Add some salt. And now we're ready to make our topping. All right, so we're going to move our patty pan right onto a sheet pan. So now we have our zucchini and our patty pan squash. We'll clear out the area a little to make our topping. Now for our breadcrumb topping, we're just going to use the toasted croutons. We're going to use the remainder of our garlic. So I'll just pick this up and put that right in. We do want to salt this. So this is going to be the bulk of our flavor for the zucchini. We're going to use a little bit of cheese here. You can use any type of cheese that you have. A Parmesan works really well. Fontina, mozzarella. Just something that's going to add a nice texture. It's going to melt and give you a little bit of a flavor there. So I've used a little fontina here. Now for some fresh herbs. Basil, which I tend to not cook with. Usually I'll add this fresh at the end. But for this ingredient, if you rip the basil, it does help to permeate the zucchini and add just that little finesse or that little bit of additional flavor. You could use, again, any, any herb that you have, though. If you have thyme, it would work really well. Parsley would work well, again. The last step to this topping is just putting a little bit of oil in, using a spoon to mix it around. And you do want your breadcrumbs to be somewhat saturated with oil. So you want to check them. Just make sure that there's a little bit of oil on the bottom of the pan. If you notice that after you add your oil, it's very dry still, then you do need to add a touch more. I think we're pretty much there with this mixture. And this looks really nice for the topping of our gratin. And we want to put it right on top. We don't want to lose any of it. If we spill some of this onto the bottom of the sheet pan, it'll just tend to burn in the oven. So there's no need to go 
really overboard. You just want a nice light topping on the zucchini and summer squash. So now we're done topping this and we're going to put it into a preheated oven at 400 degrees, roughly for 10 minutes. But the trick here is to look at your squash for doneness. The topping should be nice and lightly browned. And if you insert a knife into the thickest part of the zucchini or squash, it should go in very nice and tenderly. So the <coughs> zucchinis have come out of the oven. As you can see, the topping is toasted really nicely. The zucchini is tendered and and cooked. That took about 10 minutes. In the meantime, while we let them cool down, we're just going to make a little bit of a tomato salad and garnish. We grabbed a nice white platter and we're going to slice some heirloom tomatoes here very, very thinly. And this is going to be a nice coating for our plate. It just adds that visual pop for us. And as you can see, these are really nice and paper thin. Since we have the curry in the zucchini and the squash, this is going to give you a little bit of a cooling taste. Curry can sometimes be just a touch spicy, so this is going to help us with that now. This is the bottom of our tomato salad here, and on top we're going to use some cherry tomatoes. A little trick that I use with cherry tomatoes, since they're so small they can take a while to cut, is I actually put a pile of them on a cutting board, I rest my hands on top, and I just slice very delicately across. As long as your hand is out of harm's way, then it's a pretty safe, quick way to cut a bunch of tomatoes at once. And put those into a bowl, lightly salt, add a little bit of olive oil. And since our zucchini and summer squash here go really well with lemon juice. I'm going to just dress the tomatoes with a little bit of lemon juice and add in some basil leaves. So this is our tomato salad that's going to top the zucchini. We can pick them up and set them right on our platter here. And we're just going to mix these tomatoes up and this will be our final little garnish. And there you have your really nice warm zucchini and summer squash gratin with a fresh tomato salad.